What's up y'all, Alvin here, and today we're talking outboard jet maintenance, specifically how to sharpen and shim your impeller. I tell the good jets. <laughs> Okay, so you don't need a lot of tools to do this repair. A file, of course, crescent wrench, the proper box wrench, a pair of channel lock pliers. Always got to have a hammer. <laughs> or you could use this nifty tool, jet medic tool. This has got most everything you need to uh, work on the jet pump. Uh, ours don't have a bolt they've got studs and uh, a nut so we can't use this end and that's the only reason we need the box wrench so this has everything you need to uh, do all your maintenance on your jet pump I'll leave a link to these in the description got no affiliation with them other than the fact that they're some nice guys they make a pretty cool tool definitely got to have one of these in your repair kit on the boat first things first let's tilt this baby up we'll go ahead and tilt it all the way up okay so first thing we got to do is take these bolts off that hold the foot on there's six of them, if I'm remembering correctly. This is the part that I was saying uh, had the studs on it instead of the nuts. Some of the pumps uh, come with uh, six bolts that hold the foot on. I like to just loosen them all up. first It is coming loose already. Sometimes you gotta get the hammer, give it a tap or two to get it loose, but this one's been off a few times, so it's gonna just come right off as soon as I take those bolts off. foot and there's a the sleeve that sleeve's got a little bit of wear to it <laughs> I'm gonna set those bolts down somewhere I won't lose them right there so there's my six bolts okay now we got to remove the nut that holds the impeller And what you'll notice is that there's a little washer that's got ears that folds down over the nut to keep it in place. I'm going to use this little groove in the uh, JetMedic tool. I don't know if that shows up or not. Um, 
to bend down that washer. I gotta open up the washer. I gotta bend it down. I'm gonna bend it open. Okay, so there's one side. And there's the other side. And then I'm gonna use the wrench on the tool to uh, loosen the nut. Now, I could use my channel locks or my big crescent wrench for the same thing, but that tool is pretty handy. So, first thing that comes off is this washer right here. I'm just gonna put that right there with the nut so I don't lose it. Now, when you take the washers off, you wanna make sure you have all the washers that go on the bottom of the uh, impeller, keep those separate from the washers that go on the top of the impeller because that's your spacing. So we'll pull the impeller out and let's see, we've got, looks like we don't have any washers on that side so that means this is the first time this impeller has been taken out and so i got plenty of uh leeway to shim it don't drop the key this is sort of like a uh, shear pin fits in the keyway on the impeller. I'm not sure if that shows up. There's a little groove in there that that pin fits in. Keeps the impeller from spinning. All right, now let's see what we got. Oh, <laughs> so this guy can definitely use some help. This is the first time it's ever been sharpened and it is pretty dull. All right, so this is where the file comes into play. Uh, we're gonna file each one of these edges of this thing until we get it down to about a 32nd of an inch thickness. And we're just gonna file the top of it. You wanna get it even, so the same number of strokes on each blade. I usually start off with about 20 strokes and then I spin it, go to the next one and uh, just work my way down until I get it as sharp as I want it. it's getting there <laughs> that looks a lot better than it did no doubt about that all right so now all we got to do is put it back together which is pretty much just the opposite of taking it apart but there's one thing we got to do when we put it back together and that is we got to check the clearance we're looking for a 32nd of an inch between the liner and the impeller or as close as you can get it without rubbing <laughs> Basically, you're just trying to cut down on lost power by too much clearance between the impeller and the sleeve. So I'm just going to assume, since this thing has never been adjusted, that it's probably worn a little bit. And I'm going to drop two of the washers on the back side of the impeller. So come stock with all the washers on the side of the impeller where the, bolt, where the nut is. I'm gonna put two of them on the back side. All right, so that means I gotta put those on first. Stick the key in the impeller. It's 
just kind of goes in that little slot there. I like to just hold it in with my finger, my pinky finger, <laughs> and I find that flat side. So the key goes on the flat side of the shaft. Keeps the thing from spinning. A little bit tricky. Got to hold that in place and then spin it till it hits the flat spot. Then it'll slide on in. Like so. Okay. Then I'm going to take the rest of the washers and put those on this side of the impeller. And then you got to put that little washer with the ears on it. And it only goes on one way because it's got a flat spot as well. Keeps the whole mess from turning. Put the nut back on. Tighten that up. All right, so here's a little cheat that I like to do. Instead of putting the foot on and checking the clearance, I'll just slide that sleeve on and check it that way. It's supposed to be a 32nd of an inch, uh, but I just like to eyeball it. And uh, that's looking about right. Just want to make sure it's not touching anywhere. That looks pretty good to me. Sometimes there's some high spots in there. So make sure it's nice and tight. And looks like My washer's gonna work. Sometimes if the ears don't wanna fold down, you'll have to take it off and flip it over. But looks like we're good to go. I'm just gonna bend that bad boy back in place. These uh, washers are pretty durable. I've been able to reuse them, use it a couple times before the tabs break off. But you always wanna have a spare in case the tab breaks off because you don't want that nut coming loose <laughs> and throwing that impeller into the sleeve. Trust me, it's not fun. So now all we gotta do is put the sleeve back on and reattach the foot. Make sure you, when you put the foot on, you got it facing the right direction. Uh, it will go on in the wrong direction, but you want it facing the front of the boat, like so. I like to just get them all on finger tight, and then come back and tighten them up all the way.
go. <laughs> All right, so that wasn't too hard, was it? And it's gonna definitely make a big difference in the performance of your jet pump. All right, so if that helped you out, or if you just found it entertaining, give the video a thumbs up. If you hated that, as always, feel free to give it two thumbs down. <laughs> if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a comment, leave a suggestion about future videos. As always, good luck on the water, and I'll see you in the next one.